and Bobby Whalen will start off for Indiana. Whalen, one of the best speedsters in the Big Ten, ranks third in stolen bases. Red shirt sophomore, six foot, 185, right handed hitter, steps in, first pitch from Nedved. That's a cross for a strike, and we are underway. 89 mile an hour fastball, strike one. Whalen, 3.04 on the season. Again, 22 stolen bases. 0 2 after the swing and miss. He scored 50 runs on the season. 374 on base percentage here at the top of the order. Method ahead in the count. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Down goes Whalen. Good high temperature today. Really the opposite. Cloudy, cool, wind blowing in. It'll test these hitters a little bit. Hunter Jesse, the left fielder, steps in. Just misses outside, ball one. Jesse's reached base in 35 of the 38 games this season for the Hoosiers. Here's the 1 0 pitch to the junior, misses outside, 2 0. So we pull up the. Jesse had himself a night last night. He was 4 for 6, double and a home run. Here's the 2-0. Misses low and away. D Nedved behind 3-0. Jesse, 357 on the season now. 471 on base percentage. Here's the 3-0. Misses inside. That's a four-pitch walk. First base runner of the game. And Jesse's 30th walk of the year. Hoosiers as a team have a good eye. Third, third base, number 32, Josh Pine. That'll bring up Josh Pine. Another great night from him. You'll hear this a lot. Three for six, four RBIs, double and a home run last night. Big right-hander steps in. Pine's the freshman. First pitch to him. That one's a cross for a strike, 0-1. Jesse's got eight stolen bases. A little bit of a threat. Been caught three times. Cade Moss catching tonight for the Hawkeyes. Fouled back into the screen, 0-2. Outfielders are Sam Peterson in left, Kyle Huxdorf in center, Keaton Anthony out right. 0-2 from Nedved. Misses inside. Pine just pulls the thighs out of the way. One ball, two strikes. Sixteen runs on nineteen hits for Indiana last night. So again, bats came to came to play. Thirteen of those runs were early in the game. Nedved snaps over to first. Home plate umpire Ramon Hernandez. First base umpire Joshua Shepes. Kyle Fechtow out at second, and Mark Wagers down at third. There's the pitch, and that is a punch out. Two away here in the first inning. Another freshman, left-handed hitter. Matheson, DHing tonight. First pitch, the cross for a strike. And again, as I was mentioning the lines, Matheson last night, three for five, scored three runs, drove in four, had a double and a home run. Sound familiar? Oh, one from Nedved. Snaps it over first instead. Jesse's back easy. We'll see if maybe they put him on the move. Little again, a little bit different night tonight. A little bit more small ball, maybe. Oh, one from Nedved. Just misses the outside corner, one and one. Nedved checks in, comes set at the belt. A 1-1. One, one. 
Misses low and inside, two and one. And Nedved five and two on the season. He's got three saves. Nedved set. Here's the two one. Flared down the left field line, but that'll slice foul. Indiana hit 6.09 with two outs last night. Just an unbelievable statistic. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That's flared out into left. Peterson charges in, makes the catch, and that'll do it. Seegers, Michael Seegers will bat first for the Hawkeyes. Sophomore takes it for a strike. And it's 0-1. Seegers last night, one for three, had a double, walked five times. Pretty amazing stat line as he had eight plate appearances. Seegers ground ball to short. Play deep in the hole. Big high hop. Seegers will hustle. He'll beat that out. Interesting hop there. Glasser did the best he could do. Caught a little topspin or something. Ball bounced up high. He had to leap up to get it. By the time he could get his feet set and throw, he could not get the speedy Seegers. And that'll bring up Peyton Williams. Williams, 366 on the season. 31 extra base hits. Indiana goes into the shift again. Third baseman shifts over to the second base side. Doan's in a good spot. First pitch from Perkins. Takes it down, uh, down at the knees for a strike. 0-1. Williams takes a glance back at home plate umpire. I'm not falling for that tonight. Again, Williams 366 on the season. Checks it over to first. Peyton was two for six last night. Scored two runs, had an RBI. Got hit by two pitches. The top of the Hawkeye order came to the plate eight times in an eight inning game. That was pretty crazy statistic. Here's the 0-1 from Perkins. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Seegers will round, he's gonna head to third. Ball will just come into second. The Hawkeyes have the first two on. Runners on the corners here in the bottom of the first inning. Williams at first. Couple singles here to start the game. Good block there by Ellis tonight, who's catching. Ceruto last night did a great job behind the plate. Ellis does a good one on the good job on the first one. Pine, Glasser, Dones, and Tibbetts are your infield from third to first. Jesse, Whalen, and Murrison is your outfield from left to right. 1-0 pitch to Anthony. Ground ball up the middle. That could be two. Shortstop steps on it, fires over, but the Hawks have the lead, 1-0 on the grounded into the double play. Six unassisted. Patty won for four last night. Swing and a miss for a strike. Did score three runs because he walked three times. Fullard, open stance. Perkins back in the full windup. 0-1 pitch. That's driven out into right center field. That's going to get into the gap, and that'll go off the wall. Bounces up high. Right fielder Murison takes it, fires it in. It's a two-out double for Isaiah Fullard. And Ben Wilmus will have a chance to extend the Hawkeye lead. Perkins bounces it up there. Fillard couldn't quite get a good read on it. Ellis kept it in front of him. Wilma steps in. Fillard out at second. Perkins comes set in the stretch. 1-0 delivery. 
Taken up high, 2-0. Oh. Wilmus now 262 on the season. His 17th start of the year. Dones checking Fillard just a little bit at second base. Perkins is set. 2-0. That's a good pitch. 2-1. Wilmus steps back in. 321 with runners in scoring position on the season, but just 167 with two outs. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Taken outside, 3 and 1. Sam Peterson's on deck. Hawkeye approach been a little different tonight. Usually you see a lot of Pitches work the pitch count tonight. They've been attacking early. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Takes that for a strike, three and two. We'll have the action pitch. Perkins really brings it, 95 mile an hour fastball on that one. Perkins checks the sign. Fillard gets the lead at second. 3-2. With two outs here in the first, the pitch. Ground ball right at the foul ball right at the plate. Try it all again. We'll take a quick look around the Big Ten as we get to the top of the inning. Perkins gets the sign. He's set at the belt. The 3-2 pitch. Fouled off into the netting again. And I talked to Robin Lund at the golf outing today, the pitching coach for Iowa. It was, a, it was just a nightmare for the pitching coaches. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, but that was a foul tip. Ellis couldn't hold on. Steps back in. Again, very good at bat here. He's seen as many pitches as the four batters in front of him saw. Three balls, two strikes. Here's the deal. Delivery. Misses outside. Very good at bat from Wilmus. And Sam Peterson comes to the plate with two aboard and two outs here in the first inning. First pitch to Peterson. Misses outside. Ball one. Third baseman Pine in on even with the bag. Peterson actually started the fourth inning rally last night for the Hawkeyes, down 13 to 2. He had a bunt single down the third base line. Scored on the first three run home run from Kyle Huxdorf. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Takes that for a strike on the outside corner, 1 1. Peterson, 279 on the season. Freshman from Huxley. He also hit a home run last night. Petey was three for six, scored three runs, drove in five. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss at a pitch that was up and in. 95 mile an hour fastball. Looks like you can hit that one, but it gets past you before you know what to do. And we'll see if Perkins can work his way out of the jam here. He's ahead now, one ball, two strikes. Bottom of the first inning, Hawkeyes have two aboard. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball up high, two and two. That looked like the 
look like the slider. See if he comes back with a breaking ball here or tries to throw that high fastball past him again. 2-2 Two -two pitch to Peterson. Gra beautiful breaking ball catches the outside corner and Peterson goes down looking. One run. But here, he delivers to Tibbets and Tibbets gets into one. We'll see what happens to the wind here tonight. Caught. That ball hits Carver Hawkeye Arena last night. <laughs> Iowa today. And Pence, or Iowa and Indiana. Pitches a strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Indiana would love for Penn State to lose there. Iowa would love for Illinois to lose. Purdue losing to Maryland helps Indiana as well. That ball's just outside, 1 and 1. Michigan State and Nebraska just getting started. And Northwestern and Minnesota will start here in just a couple minutes. Here's the one and one. He did not want to swing at that, but somehow still did. One last, last night, Glasser four for six, scored three runs, drove in two, and hit a home run. Here's the one, two. Nedvin misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. One away here in the Second inning. Glasser climbs back in. Here's the 2-2. Misses outside. Count goes full, 3-2. and two. Glasser scored a run in 28 of 41 games. Just came back on May 10th from an injury. He's walked in 22 games though, so he's got a good eye at the plate. And here's the 3-2, he walks this time. Nedved got ahead, but lost Glasser, so second walk of the game. Glasser's gonna st strip off a lot of stuff there. And that'll bring up Matthew Ellis. 277 on the season, 17 home runs, and 63 RBIs. The left-handed hitter, he's a junior. Started his career at Tennessee. Spent a couple years at a community college before landing here at Indiana. That pitch catches the outside corner, 0-1. 6'4", 240. Came into the weekend tied for third in home runs with 17. Had a teammate, Carter Matheson, pull into a tie with him last night. Number three in the RBIs with 61. This is outside. Glasser last night had two RBIs, so he did add to his total. Swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Nedvitt set at the belt. Ahead in the count, one and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number three for Nedvitt. There's two away here in the top of the second inning. Dones was 0 for 5 last night. My guess is that means he's going to have himself a night at the plate here tonight. Nedved over to first. Dones swings at it. I like that. Getting his timing. Snaps the swing off. Nedved set at the belt. Pitch misses outside. Ball one. Dones had a very nice defensive game at second last night. Spent his first four years at West Virginia before he grad transferred here to Indiana. 
1-0. Just misses inside, 2-0. Had 190 career starts at West Virginia. Had his 200th career hit last weekend, so active batter. And again, strong defensive player. Breaking ball there is a cross for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Two away here in the top of the second inning. Iowa leads on the Keaton Anthony grounded into double play. Scored Michael Seegers. 2-1. Breaking ball just misses inside. And the Hawkeye crowd's no more impressed with Hernandez as they were last night. Good crowd here tonight on a Friday night. It's fireworks night. A couple of junior programs here. See what Nedved does with the 3-1 pitch. That ball's across for a strike, three and two. And that'll put Glasser on the move. Maryland scores five in the top of the seventh inning. It's 12-5 there. Penn State trying to fight back against Illinois. Down three to two, bottom of the fifth inning. Nedved set at the belt, 3-2. Fouled straight back into the net. Glasser will have to go back to first and try it again. Nedved's pitch count getting up there. Duncan Davitt came in last night, saved the Hawkeye bullpen from a lot of work as he threw four and a third innings. Ground ball chopper. That's going to be a tough play for Seegers. Comes flying in, throws it off balance. Got him. Good play there from Michael Seegers to get the speedy Dones. And he'll look to start off the Hawkeye second. High and inside, just misses that forearm again. Moss struggled early in the year, but he's up to 281 now in the season. Ground ball off Moss's foot. Count goes even at 101. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Taken up high, two balls, one strike. Perkins tied for the Big Ten lead in starts with now 14. Big Ten lead 12th nationally in hit batters, 17. 2-1 pitch. Foul tip, two balls, two strikes. Tenth in the Big Ten with strikeouts with 77. Tenth in the Big Ten as well in hits per nine innings, just 7.38. Two balls, two strikes. Misses outside, three and two. Again, Perkins tends to get, tends to throw a lot of pitches, but he's six innings in eight of his last 12 starts. Again, also a high volume strikeout pitcher. Here's the full count. Line drive at Dones. One handed short hop. Interesting way to play that. But throws him out at first, one away. This Indiana team's been to 16 Big Ten tournaments. Fouled off the screen, 0 and 1. They've won four Big Ten championships. Just trying to fight their way in here now tonight, or at least this weekend. Like to do it themselves. They'd prefer, no, prefer not to need help. Honar fouls it right back off the screen. That's quickly 0-2. And, Northwestern jumps on Minnesota early. It's 2 to nothing. top of the first there. One of those where that would help Indiana if Minnesota took care of business for him. Ground ball down the first baseline. Foul. Honar stays, stays alive.
Crummy weather forecast tomorrow, so that could make life a little interesting. It's an 8.05 start as well, so could be a lot of fun tomorrow. No balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Perkins. Line drive down the left field line this time, slices it into the Indiana bullpen. Try it again. Honar last night, two for seven, scored two runs, two RBIs. Again, it feels like some of these were series numbers, and this was just one game. Honar, switch hitter, checks his swing. Oh, my goodness. He's punched out on the check swing. Third base umpire, <laughs> third base umpire Mark Wagers punches him out. 12 RBIs, and he squares the bunt. Takes that for a ball. Huxdorf, four home runs on the season. Three of those were last night. 30 RBIs on the season. 12 of those were last night. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Takes that for a strike. 1-1. One one. Talking to my buddy Kyle before the game. I think he... This is outside, 2-1. and one. Kyle Huxdorf raised his batting average 25, 26 points l last night with his 6-for-7 adventure. And he took a foul ball off the ankle in the on-deck circle. Takes that on the inside corner for a strike. And again, his diving play in the top of the third inning last night on a ball that was slicing into the gap it was going to give Indiana an even larger lead. Huxdorf makes the catch, and the Hawkeyes are able to start the comeback. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball up the middle. Glasser chases it over. Big hop, fires it across, and got it. The first, th first three up, three down inning of the series comes in the bottom of the second inning. No run. The pinch runner scored a run. First pitch from Nedved. Fouled right back into the screen. 0 and 1. We play 17, 18, 19. Played 21 half innings before we had our first three up, three down inning of the series. 0 1 from Nedved. Outside corner, strike two. See if the Hawkeyes can answer that. Murison hitting 400 as a leadoff batter. See if he can get the inning started. Cannot as he's punched out. Strike, strike out number four. Whalen 3-0-3 on the season now. Struck out, lead off the game. Nedved in the deals. Just misses the outside corner, 1-0. Nedved deals. Fouled over. Good play by Jesse there off the backstop. Counts even now, one and one. Again, Whalen, one of the faster players in the Big Ten. The one one pitch. Just misses outside, two and one. Nedved checks the sign from Moss. This is a 2 1 pitch. Taken down low, 3 and 1. Not a guy you want to walk. As his 22 stolen bases. 
not somebody you want to just tr let have a go at it. Three one pitch. Outside corner. Whalen was ready to make his move down to first. Home plate umpire had other ideas. Three two pitch. Misses low and away, ball four. Whalen, third in the Big Ten with 22 stolen bases. Left fielder, Hunter Jesse. And three free bases now from Nedved. This is bound to hurt you here eventually. <coughs> Nedved set at the belt. Goes over to first. Whalen's interesting over at first. Noticed it last night. Takes a small lead and then just kind of vaults his way off. Almost gets a, a running, moving start. This is outside, 1-0. Oh. Nedved walked Jesse in his first at-bat. Jesse homered right down the line in the first inning last night after a Whalen walk. the 1-0. Misses inside, 2-0. Big spot here for Nedved. Struggling just a bit for control. And the meat of the order coming up for the Hoosiers. 2-0. Misses outside, 3-0. He walked Jesse on four pitches the first time. See if Nedbid can battle back here. Three balls, no strikes. Across for a strike, three and one. Whalen last night when he was on third base was being just a good pest to Bauman. Big aggressive leads. Snaps over, makes Whalen go back. He had a more normal looking lead that time. Jesse, 357 on the year, 473 on base percentage. It's a 3 1. Must have missed low and away, ball four. Couple walks from the, the Hawkeye hurler. And that'll bring up Josh Pine. The first pitch to Pine. Fouled off at the plate, 0 and 1. Nedved whirls and comes back. Nedved checks the sign. Two aboard here. A couple of free passes. Nedved's 0-1. Popped out of play to the right. Nedved gets the sign. Comes set. 0-2 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That could be two. Seegers flips it. Honar fires. Good hustle there. Beats it out. Pine hustling down the line. Beat out the double play. I think Seegers probably should have went to the bag on his own there. Instead, he flipped it to Honar. Couldn't turn it quickly enough. Runners on the corners now. Two away here in the top of the third inning. A 280 hitter overall. Hawkeyes don't have a full shift on, but they are shading the opposite way. 
Snaps over to first. Pine does not have a stolen base. Showed good speed getting down the line there. But again, don't really expect him to go anywhere with, with this hitter at the plate. Just misses the outside corner. It's 1-0. Again, 17 home runs for Matheson. Here's the 1-0. Ground ball up the middle. Nedved snags it, pulls it out of his glove, flips it to Fillard at first, and he's out of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Two left on base. We're going to head to the bottom of the third inning with the Hawkeyes still leading 1-0. This is Big Ten baseball from Big Ten Plus. Double play ground out from Keaton Anthony. The first pitch from Perkins. Balls across for a strike, 0 1. Seegers, the sophomore from Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. That ball's lined out into right field, but right at Murison, takes a few steps in and makes the catch. One away here in the third inning. The last time a Hawkeye walked four times in a game was Isaiah Fillard last year, last April. First pitch to Williams, fouled out of play. And Seegers walked five times last night, so we'll be updating that graphic. Williams, one for one, got the batting average up to 370 now. On base percentage, flirting with 500. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Checks his swing down low. Does not go third base umpire. One ball, one strike. Perkins deals. Swing and a miss. 85 mile an hour breaking ball. And Perkins has Williams in a one two hole. Perkins doing a very nice job, again, for running up a pitch count. Swing and a miss, second strikeout, third strikeout of the game for Perkins. Two away here in the third. Maryland on top of Purdue, 12 to six. That pitches across for a strike. 0 and one. Illinois leads three to two over Penn State, seventh inning stretch. 0 one. Ground ball, Dones ranges over, makes a sliding play, picks it up, fires wide. Good play there by Tibbetts to keep his foot on the bag though. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We'll head to the top of the fourth inning. Iowa still leads one to nothing. This is Big Ten Baseball on Big Ten Plus. Time, we'd like to give another U team shout out. Thanks to the Cedar Rapids. Tibbetts flew out to the wall back in the second inning. Really got into one. So he was looking for his 10th home run. Ground ball out to short. Seegers takes the play, fires it across the diamond. Fillard makes the stretch, one away. Hasn't even been particularly close. See what he can do here with Glasser. First pitch. Fouls it back to the screen. Good play by Moss. Gets it between the umpire's legs of all places. And Nedved's ahead 0-1. Really needs a clean inning. He's at 56 pitches already. There's the 0-1. Misses outside, 1-1. One one. That did come set, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Nedbitt's on the mound, he's ready. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Line down the left field line, slicing. That will get into the bullpen. 
We'll try again. Top of the fourth inning. Iowa leads one to nothing. Here's the one two pitch. That's lined out into left field. Peterson comes running in, makes the catch, two away. Big left hander. Taking his time, very deliberate, climbing into the box. The first pitch from Nedved. It's across the outside corner for a strike, 0 1. Purdue sneaking closer, 12 7, bottom of the eighth inning against Maryland as Maryland tries to close out the Big Ten title. 0 1 pitch. Outside, 1 1. Penn State down three to two, bottom of the seventh inning as they try to sneak their way back. One one from Nedved. That's a cross for a strike, one and two. Michigan State and Nebraska tied at one in the third. Northwestern Minnesota, two zero in the early going. One two from Nedved. Line down the left field line. Peterson, long run, makes the catch. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. Bottom of the fourth inning, Iowa on top, one to nothing. This is Big Ten Baseball on Big Ten Plus. Maryland stopped the Purdue rally. It's 12-7. Pitch up high, ball one. So Maryland three outs away from wrapping up the Big Ten title, regular season title. 1-0 from Perkins. Popped out of play to the right side. 1-1. One one. Fillard, big open stance. It's the 1-1 one one pitch. Up high, two and one. Ohio State beats South Carolina Upstate 13 to 10. As the merry-go-round on the bases continues around the Big Ten. Balls up high, three and one. Looking at the games last night. Ball four, Fillard will take a walk. Fillard down at first with the walk. That'll bring up Ben Wilmus. Pine sneaking inside the bag at third. Wilmus walked in his first at bat. Pitch, Wilma squares the bunt, pulls it back, it's a strike. See if Coach Heller leaves it on or if there's a change of plan here. Middle infield looking for double play. Pine still even with the bag at third. There's the pitch, squares the bunt, takes it. Down low this time, one and one. Hawkeyes, one run, three hits, no errors. Couple of walks. Fillard with the latest one down at first. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fouls it right back in the screen, one and two. Out 
after the offensive slugfest last night. We're about halfway through the game in a pitcher's duel right now. It's the one-two pitch to Wilmis. Line drive up the middle, that'll go through for a hit. Fourth hit of the game for the Hawkeyes. Fillard round second, he'll head to third. Wilmis has to check back up as the throw goes into second. Runners. Hawkeyes have been here before. Perkins limited him to one run. See what happens this time. First pitch. Fouled off at the plate. 0-1. Peterson struck out looking in the first. Perkins gets his sign. Wilmis down at first. Playing Petey to pull. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Long hold from Perkins. Here it is. Hits him, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. We mentioned it early on. Perkins leads the Big Ten in that category. That's the first time he's done that tonight. Perkins from the stretch. Ellis runs through the whole series of signs. Perkins is set now. First pitch to Moss. Takes it down low, ball one. You've got Fillard down at third, he walked. Wilmis singled out to center, he's out at second. Peterson hit by a pitch, he's at first. Tibbetts in the baseline now down at first. Pine in even with the baseline at third. Middle infield deep. Misses outside. Good stop from Ellis. 2 0. Oh. See if there's a take sign put on for Moss here or if they let him swing away at the 2 0 oh pitch. Two oh delivered to Moss. He drives that into right center field. That'll be an easy play for Whalen, though. Makes the catch. Fillard tags. Fillard scores. It's 2 0 Hawkeyes on the sacrifice fly to center field. Perkins is set. First pitch. Takes that inside. Ball one. Coach Heller firing off a bunch of signs. Wilmis walks off second. Peterson's off first. Honar, the switch hitter, in the left-handed batter's box. 1-0 pitch. Driven out into center field. That's deep. That's going to get over his head. That'll one-hop the wall. Wilmis will score. Peterson's flying around. He'll try to score. Here's the play of the plate. Safe. Two RBI double. Perkins set at the belt again. First pitch. Breaking ball misses inside. 1-0. and Action down in the Indiana bullpen. Hawkeyes with three runs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Trying to add at least one more. Perkins pitch. Down in the dirt. Good block by Ellis. 2-0. Huckstorff will look for a pitch he can drive. The 2 0 pitch. Fouls it off his foot. The 2 1 pitch from Perkins. Instead, he inside moves to second. Like we got a little confusion. Perkins checking the hat. Must have his sign card up in his helmet. The Hawkeyes will look to extend the lead here. Perkins will look to limit the damage. Honar out at second. His two RBI double. 
Got the Hawkeyes to four. The pitch from Perkins. That's taken for a strike, two and two. Good velocity, 93 mile an hour fastball. Started the game up in 94, 95, so hasn't really fallen off much. That was pitch 66. Perkins gets the sign. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Huckstorf fouls that into the, fouls it down the right field line, out of play. Two balls, two strikes. One out here in the fourth inning. Perkins comes set. It's a 2 2 pitch. Hits him. Actually calls him out. Says he swung at it and called him out. See if Seegers can extend the Hawkeye lead. First pitch, squares the bunt, takes it on the outside corner, strike one. Seegers asks Hernandez, maybe where it was. It's the 0 1 pitch. Grounded foul by the Indiana dugout, 0-2. Seegers steps in again. Down in the count now, 0-2. Indiana bullpen got plenty of work last night. Perkins trying to save him some wear and tear here. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Line drive up the middle, that'll have a chance. There's gonna be a play at the plate. Double clutches the throw, here's the play, safe! RBI single from Seegers. First pitch to Williams. Takes that on the inside corner for a strike, 0-1. One from Perkins. Takes that up high, one on one. Williams steps in. One ball, one strike. Two away here in the fourth inning. Hawkeyes have four. They've extended the lead to five to nothing. One one pitch. Inside, two and one. Swing and a miss. Big 95 mile an hour. Belt high fastball gets it past Williams. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the 2 2 from Perkins. Swing and a miss. Four runs on three hits, one air, one left. Hawkeyes lead five to nothing through four. This is Big Ten Baseball on Big Ten Plus. One, two pitch. Popped up. Huckstorf will come in. Make the catch, one away here in the top of the fifth inning. Still scoring in the top of the ninth inning as they're gonna close out Purdue. 
Morrison fouls that off, 0-1. Northwestern on top, two to one through three innings. Nebraska on top, bottom of the fourth inning, three to two. They're looking to extend their lead there. Ground ball to the middle, Nedved snags it again. Flips it to Villar, two away. Rutgers and Michigan tied at one, top of the third inning. Two down here in the fifth inning. First pitch, just misses him inside. That's kind of one of those you'd like the uh, you'd like Whalen to take that one off the thigh and jog down to first base with his speed. Try to get a rally started here in the fifth inning. 1-0 pitch. Cross for a strike, 1-1. One one. One, one. Just misses the outside corner there. Two balls, one strike. Nice comeback from Maryland after Rutgers pretty much led the conference all season long. Maryland chases them down in the final weekend. Falden up and over the Indiana dugout. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two pitch, chopped foul. Big high chopper over the netting in the Hawkeye dugout. Over to the Hawkeye parent section. Every game matters here for the Hawkeyes as they look for the NCAA tournament bid. Two-two, strike three called. Whalen's not happy, but he's headed to the dugout. We're through four and a half innings. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Big game in Big Ten world. Penn State has the bases loaded now. One out, bottom of the eighth inning, still trailing Illinois by a run. First pitch. Perkins is a beauty, it's a strike. Anthony 0 for 2. Average down to 363. 0 1. Also across the strike, the knees 0 and 2. Nedved at 76 pitches. Perkins just passed that. He's up to 78 now. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Popped into right field. Murison's going to have to go back. Chasing back, chasing back. Gone. What a mistake there on the 0-2 pitch. Anthony drives it out to right field. And it's 6 to nothing, Hawkeyes. First pitch from Perkins. Cross for a strike, 0-1. And all of a sudden, Anthony has the batting average lead again from Williams. Perkins, here's the pitch. Misses outside. One ball, one strike. That's a strike, one and two. Rutgers takes the lead over Maryland, or I'm sorry, over Michigan, two to one, top of the third inning. Lots of scoreboard watching here in the last weekend. Up high, two and two. Fallard hitting 320 on the season. Done a really nice job since coming back from the early season injury, two two. Good piece of hitting there. Pokes it into the netting, stays alive.
Perkins goes into the wide. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Foul tip, but Ellis does a great job. Holds on to it. Strike three. One away here in the fifth inning. It's the first pitch. It's cross for a strike. 0-1. Oh Big rally for Rutgers. Scored a couple more in the third inning. Catches the outside corner, 0-2. Penn State's tied it up on a sacrifice fly. 3-3 now, bottom of the eighth inning. Perkins comes set. Here's the 0-2. That just missed the outside corner. One ball, two strikes. One, two. Just misses outside again. Ellis held it a long time. Gave the home plate umpire a long look at it. Two balls, two strikes. Wilmus has got something in his eye. He climbs back in. See if he can get the Hawkeye inning started with one out here. Ground ball, slow roller, Pine comes in, picks it up, fires it across, throws wide. Wilmus is going to have to hustle the second. Dones fires the second. Safe. Wilmus out at second, one down here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Six nothing Iowa. First pitch to Peterson. Misses outside. One and zero. Oh. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch from Perkins. Misses down low and outside, 2-0. Oh. Kind of what hurt Indiana last night. One of the Hawkeye big innings. Couple fly balls that Indiana had trouble pulling in, giving the Hawkeyes extra outs. The Hawkeyes have been able to make them pay so far. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch from Perkins. Ground ball, Dones, diving play. Comes up, fires it over. Not a great throw. But he gets him as Peterson stumbles over as, again, Tibbetts had to kind of stretch. Awkward angle. Wilmus advances to third. There's Cade Moss steps in. Misses high and inside. Ball one. As he'll try to give the Hawkeyes one more run as Wilmus down there at third. Perkins set at the belt. From the stretch with a runner at third, 1-0. Misses outside, 2-0. Perkins, set in the stretch, he's at the belt, 2-0. Misses down low, 3-0. Sam Honar, who doubled home two in his last at-bat, standing on deck. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Misses inside, ball four. Hit him, walked him, any combination of those. And Wilson. Honar at the plate, two away here, bottom of the fifth inning. Pitch from Perkins. Lined into left field. That's over his head, bounces off the wall. Good play there by, good play by Jesse to get it in. Hold. 
couple more in starting or in scoring position here for the Hawks. First pitch over through that one well outside, ball one. The 1 0 to Huxdorf. Popped out a play to the right, 1 on 1. Last night, the key to the game was hitting with runners on base and two out hitting. Iowa picking that back up now. Doing a nice job here with two outs. 1-1 pitch from Perkins. Fouled it off his foot. One ball, two strikes. Indiana in seventh place right now in the Big Ten can get into the tournament without help, but want, probably want to take care of business on their own. Popped out of play on the one-two pitch. Rutgers, Iowa, and Illinois battling it out for two, three, four. Michigan, Penn State, Indiana, Purdue battling it out for five, six, seven, eight. With a couple teams in line if everything fell correctly for them, but, but all long shots. Just a one-two pitch to Huxdorf. Hits him. And the bases are loaded for the top of the order, Michael Seegers, and scored a ton of runs. I think the Indiana head coach's leash is a little longer than he'd like it to be, but feels like Perkins is his best options. Comes across with a strike there, 0-1. Seegers, two for three on the day. Scored a run, driven in a run. Bases are loaded, Moss, Honar, Huxdorf. Third, second, first. Perkins is set, he delivers. Breaking balls, grounded out to short. That's gonna be a tough play though. Seegers hustles, beats it out, gets away. That's gonna score two runs, might score three. Stop sign comes up. As the throw got to the dugout. Hawkeye bullpen had no action in it, but now it does, as you had. That might actually be Nedved as he'd been sitting there for a long time. I think he's just getting loose and just to try to get ready to go again. Ellis comes out, flashes some signs. Kraft, the freshman, pulls his signal card out of his pocket. Seegers to the leadoff first. Williams lines that ball down the third baseline. Huxdorf shows some good vertical jump of ability there. Gets over top of that one. Saves himself. He took a foul ball off the ankle last night in the on-deck circle. Almost got another one. Four more runs across here for the Hawkeyes in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Kraft. Swing and a miss, good breaking ball there. Hawkeyes have batted around in the inning. See if they can get Keaton Anthony a second swing.
Huxdorf at third, Seegers at first. Kraft way ahead in the count, it's 0-2. Here's the pitch to Williams. Takes it down in the dirt. Seegers will advance as the ball bounces away. One ball, two strikes. Williams has a couple of runners in scoring position now. Williams, 286 with runners in scoring position, 294 with two outs. See if he can come through in the clutch here. Here's the pitch. Inside, two and two. Two, three, four on tap for Indiana in the top of the sixth inning. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, tried to hold it. That's the hat trick strikeout for Williams. Four runs, three hits, two errors, two left. We'll head to the top of the sixth inning. Hawkeyes on top. The equivalent would be a Big Ten baseball is kind of a mid-major NCAA basketball idea. First pitch, this is the outside corner, 1-0. Jesse's walked twice today. See if Nedved can make him earn his way on base this time. But there's five conferences, four or five conferences, outside 2-0. Nedved had a long break between innings. See how he responds here. But the, uh, here's the 2-0 pitch. That's a cross for a strike, 2-1. But just trying to trying to see how Iowa can get in. Obviously getting into third place. Fouled straight off the screen, two and two. Getting into third place, edging out Illinois would be nice from a Hawkeye perspective. Ed Not going 0-2 in the Big Ten tournament next week would be a huge positive step. Winning a couple games, getting Major back on track. Here's the 2-2. Just misses on the inside corner. Counts full now, three balls, two strikes. Indiana to get in, needs to win the Big Ten tournament. They're still trying to make sure they get there. Three, two, swing, and a miss, but foul tip. Stays alive, Moss couldn't quite squeeze it. Michigan's tied up, Michigan State's tied up Nebraska. Swing and a miss. Jesse goes down for the first time, one away here in the sixth inning. First pitch from Nedved. That's a cross for a strike, 0 1. The 0 1. Outside, 0 2. Or I'm sorry, 1 1. 85th pitch for Nedved. Gets the sign. Rocks and deals. Line drive up the middle. First hit of the game. Got under Honar's glove. Hit number one, Josh Pine. Ground ball single up the middle. Ned that had fielded a couple of those balls. That one wasn't quite the chopper. Wasn't able to kick save it. Crowd gives him a nice ovation. They recognize that's the first hit. And that'll bring up Carter Matheson. Top of the 10th inning in Penn State. Penn State and Illinois tied at three. Nedvin from the stretch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Pine, probably not a threat to run. Probably not a threat to run because of the score of the game right now. Matheson 0-2 on the day. Ground ball out to Honar. Takes it, flips it to second. Seegers just eats that at second. Wasn't really a 
double play ball. Don't really see this as a running opportunity. Foul ball there, 1-0, 0-1. Action in the Hawkeye bullpen. Guys just stretching, getting loose there. Nobody really. No urgency or anything, just getting ready. Nedved's up at. This will be the 90th pitch. He deals. That's a cross for a strike, 0 and 2. Two down here in the sixth inning. Hawkeyes lead 9 to nothing. Nedved gets the sign. Line drive down the right field line, slices just foul. And that'll send Matheson back to first. He's not in any real rush. It's the 0-2 pitch. Just misses inside, one and two. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to third. Wilmus rounds it over. Off balance throw. Ballard though, great play. Looked just like a regular first baseman. First pitch is to the backstop there. As Kraft misses wide. One ball, no strikes. That's a cross for a strike. One on one. Flags calm out all around. 61 degrees, 64 degrees. Not a breath of wind at this point. A good breaking ball across for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Although Anthony hit an 0-2 pitch over the right field wall. Kraft gets the sign, deals. Anthony goes chasing that one outside, strikes out, one away. Last inning. Here's the pitch. Misses outside, ball one. One oh. Checks his swing. Does not. One and one. Hawkeyes have been on the wrong side of about all of those. One one. Misses outside. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Pillard drives that down the right field line, but it'll slice foul. Two balls, two strikes. Illinois has the first two runners on in the top of the 10th inning. As they try to take the lead on Penn State. Stay in a third place tie with Iowa and help Indiana out by knocking Penn State down a peg. Pollard holds up that time. Almost thought it foul tipped his bat. Did not, full count. Wilmus is on deck. Just a 3 2. Misses outside, ball four. Walked and was left stranded in the first. Misses, that goes to the backstop. Fallard will advance easily to second. Ellis has no chance on those balls. 
Just not anything he can do with that. Wilmus, 270 hitter on the season. Kraft comes set. Here's the 1 0. Misses wide again, 2 0. This has been an idea. Here's the pitch. High strike, two and one. In the Hawkeyes' last 10 innings, they've scored 39 runs. I'm sorry, 37 runs. Then an offensive explosion from the Hawkeyes. Two balls, one strike. Fillard out at second, the pitch. Swing and a foul tip. Good catch from Willis. Ellis. Two balls, two strikes. RBI double for Illinois. They're on top five to three. Top of the 10th inning, still nobody out. 2-2 two -two pitch. Good piece of hitting from Wilmus. He's out at first though, but he advances Fillard. Sam's had good luck with runners in scoring position this season, but not so much with two outs. We'll see which trend wins here. First pitch, floats it up high, ball one. Peterson, slightly open stance, swing and a miss. Counts even, one and one. Two seventy five on the year for Peterson. O for two tonight. Hit by a pitch and scored a run in the fourth. Swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Fillard at third. Strikeout number three for Kraft. And the Hawkeyes go down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Left a runner on third. We're through six innings. Hawkeyes lead nine to nothing. This is Big Ten Baseball on Big Simpson's a full-time stretch pitcher. Here's his first one. That's a cross for a strike, 0-1. Simpson gets the sign, the 0-1. Down low and inside, 1-1. One and one. Simpson, he's set at the belt, 1-1 one, one pitch. High and tight, Glasser ducks out of the way. It's 2-1. and one. Two one from Simpson. Fouled back to the screen. Two and two. Glasser, three fifty eight hitter on the season. Made a couple nice plays out at short. Simpson will try to get the first out here of the seventh inning. Here's the two two. Chopper out to third. Wilmus takes a short hop, fires it across the diamond. Got him. Sharp play there from the freshman Ben Wilmus. One away in the seventh inning. Matthew. Matthew Owen. 
That'll bring up Matthew Ellis. Left-handed hitter tidies up the box, steps out, gets his grip on the toothpick, and he's ready. First pitch from Simpson. It's a cross for a strike, 92-mile-an-hour fastball, 0-1. Illinois adds another 7-3, top of 10. Hawkeyes want third place. They're going to need just a little bit of help. Michigan trying to rally back against Rutgers. 0-1 delivery. Down low, 1-1. Ellis 0 for 2, struck out, flew out to left. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Seegers ranges over, takes the big hop, fires it on the run, got him two away. <laughs> two down here in the seventh inning. That'll bring up Dones. Second baseman, Tyler Dones. He's played a sharp second base, but he's looking for his first hit of the series. Dones, right-handed hitter, steps in. Simpson comes set at the belt. First pitch to Dones. That's a cross, 0-1. Simpson. Come set at the belt again. 0-1 oh, pitch. Line drive. That's the first hit. Dones might have. Anthony, good play. Backhands it. Fires it in. And Dones has a second hit of the game. Sharp single to right. And that'll bring up Murison. Right fielder, Samuel Murison. Simpson comes set. First pitch. Misses high. Good snag there by Moss. 1 0. Dones has good speed. 11 stolen bases. Would surprise me if he got real creative down there with the 9, nine to nothing scoreboard. 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. 1 and 1. Simpson gets the sign. The 1-1 one, one delivery. Swing and a miss. One and two. Morrison's 0 for 2 on the day. Struck out looking in the third. Grounded back to Nedved in the fifth. 241 on the season. Simpson will look to close out the seventh inning. It's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. Catcher Cade Moss will step in. First hitter here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Misses just outside, ball one.
Craft set delivers. Bounces it up there, 2-0. and Again, another secret from the radio guys was that their pitchers have been good getting that first inning and getting the outs, and then they've just had a hard time getting through the second inning without imploding. So we'll see if the Hawkeyes can continue that trend here. 2-0. Moss fouls that out of play to the right. Two balls, one strike here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Moss 0 for 2 on the day, but he walks and scored a run back in the fifth inning. Drove in a run in the fourth with a fly out. Misses outside, 3 and 1. A 3 1 from Kraft. Misses outside, ball four. Must feel more comfortable. Of course, if I've got two doubles, I'm feeling pretty comfortable as well. Takes that breaking ball outside. 1-0. and oh. Three-run home run for Michigan. We are tied at seven in the bottom of the fourth inning as Michigan tries to help out both Illinois and Iowa in the standings. Breaking ball misses outside again, 2-0. Not sure what the tiebreakers look like for Iowa, Illinois, Rutgers in a three-way tie for second. Popped out of play. I think if you're, if you're either of those three teams, the goal is to stay out of fourth place. You don't want to face, you'd like to avoid Maryland as long as you can. As Maryland's number 14 in the country. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. It's a cross for a strike, two and two. Moss is down at first. He walked. Illinois about to hold serve. Two outs, bottom of the 10th inning. They'll position themselves nicely. I will need to hold on to the win here. Get six more outs to hold their serve. And then root for Michigan. 2-2, breaking ball. Chopped down to first. That'll go into hole. Moss around. He'll hold. Ground ball single to right. There's two on here in the seventh inning. Right. Get the start tomorrow. They still haven't announced a starter for tomorrow's game. Huxdorf fouls that out of play to the right. Gets over into the Hawkeye bullpen. 0-1. Final in... Penn State, Illinois wins 11, I'm sorry, 7 to 3 in 10. So they get their job done there. <coughs> Iowa on top here, Michigan State and Nebraska tied at 3. Northwestern in, in control over Minnesota, 11 to 4 in the top of the fifth inning. Here's the 0 1. Misses wide, one and one. And then you've got Rutgers and Michigan tied. So you've got two blowouts and two tight ones of the four games that are still going here in the Big Ten. Big Ten regular season finishes up tomorrow. Big Ten tournament starts Wednesday in Omaha. One one pitch from Kraft. Line drive. It's ground ball single into left field. Stop sign comes up there. Infield comes in for Indiana. A little surprised the Say middle, middle will go back to double play depth. That makes a little more sense to me. Roll two here. Floats it wide and misses ball one. If you can turn two, you'll take two outs and trade a run in a nine to nothing game. Kraft battling his way through. 
Swing and a miss, one and one. If the Hawkeyes can close this out win tonight, they'll have won seven of eight Big Ten series, with the only series being the loss to Illinois. And they had that one. They were a strike away there. Let it get away, lost it in 13. Fouled out of play to the right. Talked to Coach Marty Sutherland early in the year, said that one was going to stick with him a while. And you look back now, that one game is the difference between Iowa still having a chance to catch Maryland and kind of being in control of their second place destiny. It's the one-two pitch. Good piece of hitting there from Seegers, fouls it off the screen. Braden Frazier on deck for Peyton Williams. Seegers, three for four, driven in a couple runs, scored one. Average is up to 280 now. He's been a general menace to the Hoosiers, been on base a lot this weekend. The one-two pitch. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. That's going to score two. Runners will head on, they'll be on the corners as Huxdorf is into third. Honar step. See what the what Luke Llewellyn can do here. First pitch from Luke, straight over the top, misses ball one. Took Luke a couple outings to find his footing. Once he did, came in was a shutdown guy for the Hawkeyes. Swing and a miss, one and one. Became an arm that the Hawkeyes really trusted in late innings. Came in, put out a fire at Irvine, UC Irvine. Put out another one against San Diego State. Back-to-back -back saves there. And then Dylan Nedved went back to the bullpen. 1-1. One, one. Popped into center field. Huxdorf over to get it. Makes the catch. One down here in the eighth inning. That'll bring up Hunter Jesse. Again, a 474 on base percentage. Just outstanding. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Llewellyn, funky delivery. Again, right over the top. You know, most, most come at 11, 11.30. Luke's, Luke pretty much delivers right at, right at noon or midnight, whichever you prefer. Here's the 0-1. Popped up. See if McCleary can make a play on it right in front of the screen. Makes the catch. Never drop the mask. On the season now. First pitch. Down low, ball one. We're here, top of the eighth inning. Iowa just kind of rolling through right now. Swing and a miss, one and one. Indiana, a very good hitting team, hitting 286 on the season, slugging 468. And Dylan Nedved, Jared Simpson, and now Luke Llewellyn have quieted the bats. Fouls it straight back to the screen, one and two. After Indiana put up 16 runs on arguably the best pitcher in the Big Ten and a host of others yesterday. One ball, two strikes to Pine. Here's the pitch. Bounces it up there. Counts even now. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the 2-2 two -two from Llewellyn. Fouled off right down the Iowa dugout. Good play by the first base coach. Two 
two balls, two strikes, two out. We're here in the top of the eighth inning. Llewellyn comes set. Here's that 2-2 pitch. Inside. Count goes full now here. As Luke trying to work a clean inning. Three and two. Good piece of hitting there. Pine pushes it into the Hawkeye bullpen, and there we go. Bullpen catcher makes a good move over, makes the catch. That'll do it. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> that doesn't count. Pine steps back in, see if he can take advantage of the second chance. 3-2 pitch from Luke. Ground ball down to third, and that's a base hit. That's going to go for a double. Might go for a triple as he'll just cruise into second. Beat Wilmus down the line. And give Pine two hits on the day. Llewellyn looking to finish off the inning here. First pitch from Luke. Bounces it up there. McCleary can't make that play. And go forth moves over to third base. You'd like to think nothing but pride at this point for the Iowa pitching staff. It's kind of like the team trying to preserve a shutout in football, trying to preserve that shutout here in baseball. 1-0. Misses 2-0. Matheson, 277 on the season. 0 for 3 here today. McCleary trots out to talk to Llewellyn. Just checking the stats real quick. Go forth. This is Go Forth's 23rd game played. He's the pinch runner out there. He's got 42 at bats. Scored seven runs. He's looking to score his eighth as he's hanging around out there. Llewellyn behind in the count, 2-0. See what he can do here. Here's the pitch. Misses low again, 3-0. Kind of been the, been the M.O. for Luke through the season. It looks easy, it looks easy, and all of a sudden it's not. 3-0. Misses, walks him on four pitches. That'll bring up Tibbetts. Fifth walk of the game for Hawkeye pitching. First baseman, Brock Tibbetts. Tibbetts is 0 for 3, 286 on the season. See if the Hawks can clean this up. Llewellyn comes set, runners on the corners, two down here, top of the eighth inning. Pitch is high, ball one. Five in a row after the rope double down the third base line. Pine doubled past the diving Wilmers at third and now five straight balls. Six. That's going to send Coach Robin Lund out to have a quick chat. Matheson off first. Go fourth, off third, and Llewellyn, 90 mile an hour fastballs across for a strike, two and one. Oh 
Way up high there, three balls, one strike. As the well and kiss can't quite find the zone here. Here's the three one. Popped out a play to the right. Counts full. That'll put Matheson on the move at first. A right-hander throwing with a little urgency in the Hawkeye bullpen. Can't quite see who it is. See if Llewellyn can get out of it on his own, though. The th Three-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll do it. No runs. One hit. No errors. Two left. We're going to head to the bottom of the eighth inning. Hawkeyes cruising 11 to nothing over Indiana. This is Big Ten Baseball on Big Ten Plus. This will be pitch number 55, and I'm sure the Indiana boss would love to see him get through this inning and not burn another arm. Ben Wilmus to the plate, takes strike one. Ben's one for three, struck out, I'm sorry, one for three, scored a couple runs. The 0 one pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Wilma, so two. Misses outside, one and two. After last night's slugfest, Iowa pitching staff's been outstanding. Indiana's had just a little bit of a hard time still, although, again, fouled straight back to the screen, one and two. Crafts come in, done a nice job. Guy floating around a 10 ERA. He's thrown strikes for the most part, kept it around the plate. Made Iowa put it in play. Here's the one two pitch. Takes that on the inside corner. And Ben Wilmus will head back to the dugout, one away here in the bottom of the eighth inning. As the freshman will try to get on the board here. Only Hawkeye without a hit tonight. Takes that outside. Ball one. One oh from Kraft. That was an interesting pitch and miss there from Ellis. You miss the 6-4 catcher high. That's pretty tough. Two balls, no strikes. Iowa RPI floating right around 61 right now. Popped out of play, 2-1. and one. A win could move them up to 59 or 60. as they look to polish that tournament resume just a little bit. 2-1. Driven out into right field. Murison goes back, goes back, goes back. Gone! <laughs> Sam Peterson, second home run of the weekend. Solo shot here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Honar. This is wide, ball one. Honar went out in the field after, after he slid across the plate there in the seventh inning. Looked like he might have tweaked something, but did go out and play the field. Line drive up the middle from a clear base hit.
First pitch to Wood. Inside, just gets out of the way. One ball, no strikes. Michigan State trying to put a rally together, but they're in trouble against Nebraska. 1-0 pitch. Breaking ball across for a strike, 1-1. Wood scored a couple runs. One for, got a hit in an RBI on the season. Chops it foul, one and two. Brett McCleary, about as much of a risk to steal the base as I am. the one two to wood and this is outside two and two wood crowding the inside part of the batter's box two balls two strikes here's the pitch swing and a miss strikeout number six for Kraft and that'll bring up Takes that high, ball one. I guess at this point he's seven for 10 on the weekend and driven in 12 runs. That feels like Big Ten Player of the Week numbers. Although the Indiana hitters have some outstanding numbers as well, so a couple good days from them tomorrow, you never know. Fouled straight back, one and one. Nebraska scores three in the bottom of the eighth inning. They win over Michigan State, six to three. That game's an important game for Indiana. Huxdorf takes that for a strike, one and two. I don't know exactly. Okay, with the tiebreakers and things, I don't know exactly how that helps. I know that eliminates Michigan State. That much I do know. Here's the one-two pitch. Chopped foul right at the plate. Try it again. So Michigan State and Minnesota are the two schools that are eliminated. My guess is one of those other 14 lost teams are as well. Kraft, good work here. Three innings. Here's the one-two pitch. He looks to close out the eighth. Popped up. See if that gets out of play. Just barely does as Tibbetts chased it over to the wall and couldn't make the catch. Hawkeyes three outs away from their seventh series win of the season, of the Big Ten season. Here's the one-two to Huxdorf. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven. Great outing from Ryan, Ryan Kraft. One run, two hits, no errors, one left. We're going to head to the top of the ninth inning. Hawkeyes on top, 12 to nothing. And he'll try to close this out, and he'll face Glasser, Ellis, and Dones. Glasser 0 for 2. Misses the outside corner. It's 1 and 0. 12 runs, 14 hits, no errors for the Hawks. No runs, 3 hits, 3 errors for the Hoosiers. 9 left on base for Iowa. Swing and a miss. 1 and 1. 9 runners left on base for the Hawkeyes. 8 runners left on base for Indiana. As Ned had walked some batters early, didn't give up a hit until the sixth inning. 
but never really gave up a big threat. Ground ball out to short. Seegers backhands, sets his foot, fires across the diamond, got his opposite number one away here in the ninth inning. Christofferson's ready. Ellis is patient. Inside corner, strike one. Ellis is 0 for 3 on the day. Christofferson peers over. Here's the 0 1. Breaking ball misses high and outside. Count goes back even 1 1. Here's the pitch. Fisted foul, one and two. When we come back tomorrow, Maryland will be Big Ten regular season champions. Iowa and Illinois will be tied. The question is, will Rutgers be tied with them? If Rutgers is tied with them, it'll be for second place. If Rutgers beats Michigan, they'll be second on their own. Breaking ball, strike three on the swing and miss. And the Hawkeyes are in out of way here in the ninth inning. As the Hawks look to close this out. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0-1. Oh Christofferson deals. Breaking ball across, ooh, just misses inside. One and one. Announced attendance was over 2,000. Great Friday night crowd. A lot of kids here. Fireworks after the game. Christofferson with the one one. Breaking ball, that's a strike. And the Hoosiers are down to their last strike. This is the Christofferson the Hawkeyes expected early in the season. Comes in, mows guys down. Again, just battled some injuries. Hasn't been able to get there, but he'll be a great addition if he can get it done. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll do it.